go. My name is Tanya, and today we're demonstrating nanotechnology, and we're going to use the sun as an example. So first of all, we like to ask, which one of these two slides has more white in it than the other? And the actual answer is they both have the same amount of white and the same amount of black in them. The answer, I'm sorry, the uh, reason is because the smaller dots cover a wider range or a wider range of area than the bigger dots. This is an example of nanotechnology or nanos that something that's very very small and tends to get very very active. An example in this in sunscreen is zinc oxide in regular sunscreen. Zinc oxide was used by. Uh, uh, by life safe, or by um, lifeguards out on the beach, they would put this all over their nose to keep their nose from getting burned. But when you try and rub it in, it actually does not absorb. Regular sunscreen, that only contains a small amount of zinc oxide, does absorb more readily into your skin. So sunscreen uses nanotechnology and will absorb into your skin better and provide a greater amount of coverage on your skin, while zinc oxide only does smaller areas in larger parts. So if you wanted to use it only on your nose, it would keep your nose from getting sunburnt, while regular sunscreen is good for the rest of your body. And anytime you want to find out, or anytime you want to buy sunscreen, you want to make sure you get something that has nanotechnology in it. Now, and another example would be using transitions lenses. Transition lenses have engineered molecules in them to reflect UV rays. So we're going to put these on top of two other lenses that will get colorful when exposed to UV light. And we take them out. You can see that the transition lenses have started to get dark because they were reflecting back the UV light, as well as the color lenses. They only darkened in the areas that were not covered by the lenses. What's happening is these genetic or these engineered molecules are actually reflecting the UV light. The molecule looks like this, but when it's exposed to UV light, it actually pops open and provides a reflective surface so that the UV light is shot back. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.